Welcome back. Students, we are on Section 11, Problems of Information Provision in Ghana. As information providers, our main duty is to provide information to our users. But in the course of doing that, there are certain challenges that we face. And this is what we are going to look at in this section. In this section, students are introduced to some of the problems of information services provision. In discussing these challenges, much attention is given to the African and the developing world in context. The key topics to be covered in these sessions are as follows. Topic one, challenges of information provision in developing countries. And then how do we deal with these challenges? The first topic, challenges of information provision in developing countries. The first challenge is lack of appreciation. Up to now, we in the developing country have not realized the value of information and the need to invest in its creation, preservation, or management. Even for students who are in the formation studies class, pretend to be doing something else rather than doing information studies. Due to the fact that people don't recognize or appreciate students who offer to learn information studies. This notion translates into gross disregard for librarians and other information providing agency. It's a problem because if librarians are not recognized, then what happened to information providers? The next problem or challenge that we, the information provider, face is the legal and ethical issues such as censorship, copyright, and intellectual freedom. By complement, it means they may slow down the information creation and dissemination of information. In certain situations, information users need certain information, but for political reasons, those information have been censored. Because of financial constraints, Sometimes information providers find themselves photocopying information to other information centers. And what this means is that they infringe on the copyright law. So it is a problem. The next one is technological challenges. This is mainly attributed to information technology literacy. Technophobia financial power to acquire information technologies and its associated infrastructure. These challenges, information technology literacy, most of our information users don't have the know-how to use the technology to access information effectively. Some even have the fear of even using the technology, which is known as technophobia. Sometimes users know how to use it, Providers are in the fix for not having financial power to acquire these technological infrastructure. Low productivity of the book industry. This is influenced by these factors. Our African society is not a reading society. Why are we saying that? Even in certain situations, when you find yourself among your friends and you try to read, people will start calling you names. In African society, we prefer the oral tradition to reading. In effect, people are not, don't buy books to read. And even those who want to buy, there are limited number of bookshops. So even if you are in the, in the habit of reading, you don't even find the bookshops to buy. You go to certain regions, there may be one or two bookshops, even those who have a lot of secondary schools around. Another problem pertaining to low productivity of the book industry is the foreign competition. Books that are produced locally are expensive as compared to those that are brought from outside the country. Because we don't have soft loans as producers to produce even the materials that our local producers, publishers use in producing the materials Every bit is imported from outside, the ink, the paper, etc. So it makes the end product very, very expensive. Thereby, the locals or the society do not buy 
the locally produced materials. Inadequate legal framework, a great deal of the information that is generated in institutions in developing countries are not well managed due to the absence of regulatory framework that will standardize the creation and management of the information. And this can be kept with the national information policy, which I hope you've heard that it will be passed in no time. How do we deal with these challenges? One, we should build a national standards. The use of a national information policy, for example, can help standardize and coordinate the information management activity in our part of the world, thereby enhancing the information services within these developing countries. A national information policy presents a formal institutional framework, logistical provision, and legal backing that are essential for the establishment and sustenance of viable information systems and services for development. The next point, engaging the students at the national level with the need to cultivate and maintain the habit of reading can go a long way to transform the notion of Africa as a reading, as a non-reading society. How do we make Africa a reading society? When we cast our mind back, even as you students, how many of you have bought books for the past in the past two weeks or a week? We prefer buying our earrings, we prefer buying our our hair, etc., without thinking of buying books. In a situation where you find yourself buying a present, a book, for somebody as a birthday gift, that gift will not be appreciated. All that we are saying is that we should encourage reading by giving people books to read. We should encourage reading as a, by giving soft loans to publishers to be able to publish and sell at their world at the lower prices. Additionally, Literacy programs such as for adults should be enshrined in the developing country to develop our national plan or agency. If you have other means of encouraging or curbing the challenges that we've just elaborated, you can do that or you can read more on that, so you can add more to it. These are just some of the ways that we, we can encourage or we can curb the situation of information provision in our part of the world. Thank you.